Hi everyone, it's great to be back with you as we continue our book talk. And today the word is visualization. So I'm going to do two notes as we talk about visualization. Now, now what is that really? What kind of the denotative meaning of visualization is the formation of a mental image of something. But if we can move that into the spiritual realm, visualization really has to do with almost as it were God giving you a kind of vision board of your life where he is telling you what would happen even though in the immediate present it may seem that something not quite so good is happening now you may be wondering so how, how do i um do this visualization thing well and and maybe you might be thinking this is some kind of thing no they are concocting no <laughs> not in the least bit but god has to give you um a kind, kind of let's say binoculars telescope a lens through which to view the events of your life if you're going to get through them successfully and if you're going to walk in your calling and purpose for his life because remember from the very beginning he had a vision for your life which he wrote down actually in your book of life now one of the reasons that my book is so big and fat is that I actually have um, got it here holding I've actually got some images drawn in the book and one of the images not that I drew them up. Huh? My, my um, Barbadian daughter, let me see if I can hold it up right. My Barbadian daughter, Anya Stevens, a uh, uh, wonderful artist, very professional artist. She drew a number of images for me, and so they're sprinkled about the book. So the uh, telescope is one of them. When God gives us a divine telescope for our lives, that's what we, we have to look through. So you don't have to look behind you to figure where to find the telescope. You know where you look? Actually right in the word of God, in the promises of God, some of the promises actually become quite telescopic. And there are some of mine which are, I just love them. And I think they probably, you probably own them too. Ah, oh, that book kind of heavy. <laughs> you probably own them too. And some of your promises. So look, these are, four of my many telescop telescopic promises one is job 22 28 which says thou shall decree a thing and it shall be established unto thee and light shall shine upon your pathways now honestly anybody could get up and decree anything but it doesn't mean light is going to shine upon their pathways they must decree what god has already decreed so that is one of our telescopic texts and of course, you're not going to go and decree anything for yourself that is not going to be in the will and plan of God for you. Another really good um, telescopic text. I love this one. Romans 4, 17, which says, God calls those things which be not as though they are. <laughs> the wonderful thing about the telescope is that you can't see things if you're not looking through the telescope or the binoculars or whatever. You can't see things that are very far away close to you but once you put on once you put that thing to your face man something that is far away is magically as it were brought very near and that is exactly what the promises of of god do for us they bring into reality even if we don't feel the reality at the moment what god has promised so romans 14 4 17 god's called those things which be not as though they are you must check into the depth of that text and of course, Romans 8, 28 is another telescopic text. We all know that, that God works everything out for our best good. So even if it seems as if it is not working out, put on the lens, get look through the telescope and visualize the good that God has for you. Remember David said, I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And this one, my telescopic text, I like this one, man. 2 Corinthians 9, 8, and God, I visualize it even before everything about it would appear to have happened. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you that you having all sufficient, all sufficiency, I'm so excited to garble in the words, <laughs> all sufficiency in all things, um, right, to abound to every good work. So next note, I want to take you on a beach run with me where I tell you a little bit more about visualization. Bye for now.